Uh, is it recording? I'm on Big Brother. Big Brother up late. I'm just recording this thing for this film in here at the moment, just so the dog doesn't bark and shit. The craziest thing I've ever done. <sighs> See, I don't even really know. As a kid, I was often drawing really violent torture mechanisms, and I'd have these kind of diagrams of limbs flying apart and chains and lots of medieval stuff. My mum and dad used to get brought into the school. They said, your son's been drawing all of this really violent shit. And mum and dad would just be like, oh, he's got heaps more of those drawings at home. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, no. My godmother gave me these human finger bones once and I still don't know where the fuck she got them from. And so I always considered myself, as, when I was quite young, as like a bone collector. I don't know if that's legal to talk about. They've brought me no bad luck, so I'm holding on to them. <laughs> Drawing's about figuring out like the 3D form and how it all moves. And this is why skeletons and bones can really help with that because you, you can see the structure underneath and you understand how the figure moves and can twist. I'm definitely a deep thinker. I wake up about four in the morning. That's when my mind is most active. And you'll have an idea or a question and you want to explore it. The theme I'm working on at the moment, it's about shifting scale. We, we often think that we're quite big. Like we look at ants and things and, and we think that we're these big creatures. But the whole idea of scale is it's all just a matter of perspective. People would always paint things on walls or where you could see them. Now with technology, drones and satellites, our eyes are in the sky and it's opened up all these new places to paint. Um, what do we got next? <laughs> when you're drawing and working, you need constant music. You end up listening to the same shit and absolutely hating it. Sometimes I'll just listen to static. As long as it's not my own thoughts, you know? <laughs> uh, where are we? The first large painting on the ground I painted was a big pink skeleton. And it went across three basketball courts. I kind of didn't know if that was going to work or if I was going to pull it off. So I guess the message of this piece is you can always figure things out and to make sure you wear a stack hat. My view on the world today isn't bleak. I used to think we're all fucking doomed, but now how far we've come with our technology, it's a good time to be alive. Computers, it fucking works. <laughs> you know, there should be no trepidation when it comes to our future. I've started getting into gold panning a bit. It's a bit like bush pokies. Spinning the wheel, you might find a big nugget. If you're painting somewhere and you need to loosen up your paint, it's getting a bit dry, you can always just piss into it. That's no drama. In 1991, we grew an ear on a rat. And I think this is a good symbol of the kind of lengths that we'll go to for our devices and for our phones. If you can't hear, we'll grow a fucking ear on a mouse. There you go, chuck that on. It's a weird one. The bent over stinger is a similar shape to a a dick, so. It's a score penis. That's a bit gross. And what? I've worked a couple of other shit kicker jobs in factories and stuff. I wouldn't be a bricklayer. That was shit house. If I could be anything else, I would probably be an astronaut. Being able to look back on the Earth and look at it as an organism would be quite profound. Never use a smile for an umbrella. You'll get your teeth wet. <laughs> it's weird being interviewed. All the shit that I would like to say I can't think of. I'm inventing a sleeveless straitjacket. <laughs> it's genius. I'm trying to put the idea in people's heads that we might not be as big as we think we are. What's the real size? Are we big or are we small? And I'm trying to raise that question by shifting the scale in these images that I'm creating. But you could also do it sculpturally by creating a huge bowl of cereal, 
and that would also give the same illusion. Does that even make sense, or am I going to sound like a mad person? Giddy up, cowboy. <laughs> Maybe I'm making something for UFOs and aliens to check out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Did I consider myself as a bone collector? That sounds so fucking grim. I used to collect bones. Don't know why I collect them. No, that's alright. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just chill. <laughs>